Spirit, what are you, you going to say about it? I mean, it's the best thing to come out of Iowa than corn dogs. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the Glock 42 that we're talking about today. Yes, 42. This is the 380 that's been out for a while. Um, we've uh, we've all various members of us have owned them and shot them for quite a while, but we all took a chance at shooting it today. Um, and now with with the 43 coming out, it's probably looking to get overshadowed quite a bit. Uh, a lot of the attention is going to shift that way. But we wanted to do the 42 because we still think that this is a very, very viable option. And um, it's, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit more pleasant to shoot than the 43 is. Um, I, to me, when I look at a gun like this, this is the smallest gun that I would ever own. In fact, this is my gun. Um, it's, to me, to get any smaller than this, you start to struggle to do what guns are supposed to do. Guns are supposed to fill your hand, draw quick, point easily, and shoot well. And this one still does that for me. Um, it's it's a little finicky, as most small guns are. Um, you'll see today uh, the first the first time I shot it, we did get a, a failure. I didn't get it on camera very well. It was a failure to feed, and that's mainly because it came right out of my pocket from being carried for weeks and weeks and weeks. And that was the first shot I got, which is the shot that you're going to get when when uh, <laughs> right. when the situation happens. Um, so that's something to consider with guns like this. Um, to me, it's it's. It's been a really solid gun. It's it's a little big to carry in your pocket, but then again, uh, you know, pocket isn't really an ideal situation. So, if you got to compromise, go uh, go give up some size to carry a gun. Still, it's it's lesser two evils for me, and this is the one that that I personally choose. Awesome. Well, it's no smallver. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so the only other 380 that I would I would I would compare this to is the 238, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and because all the other ones, I mean, you're giving up a lot of function. So this and the 238 are the two that feel like guns to me. Um, you know, uh, of course you're not spending five to six for this one. Um, it shoots really well. It's really easy on the hands. Uh, it's, it's actually just a good little pistol. Man. It, it, you don't get the sense like some of the, its competition that um, it was made to shoot like five rounds and then you got to throw it away and get another one. Mm -hmm. It's got that you know real gun feel, real gun springs, um, magazines you know, feel it's good. Built, it's built to a professional it, it, standard. It's built. It's built to carry. It's built to run. It's built to fight with if you have to, and um, and I like it. I mean, I kind of like the shield. Um, it's totally unremarkable, mm -hmm. and that's fine with me for a carry gun. I mean, I you know we, we it's great to have these pieces that are really flashy and cool um, but if it works it delivers around down range it's you know reliable as, as can be with 380s all of them have a little issue I've never seen one that was like at a hundred percent unless mm -hmm. someone wants to you know refute that which is why I generally carry nine um, but um, it seems like a great package so I uh, tried it with both the extended the two round extension and the and the flat I, the, with the two round extension it feels like a real gun yeah. Um, so, but then of course it gets a little uh, more cumbersome in the pocket. But can't really say anything negative about it. Yeah, I, I think uh, you know I'd compare it to the 238 as well, and I think it's right up there with the 238. I think those are the two 380s that are still both small and extremely shootable. I mean, yeah. you can take it down to the range and you can blast off rounds, and you're going to hit what you're shooting at. Right. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the, the Glock sights. I kind of struggle with them a little bit because I don't have a whole lot of trigger time with Glocks. But then when I go and I think of comparing that versus say the LCP's little trench sights, yeah. Yeah. it's a big improvement. Yeah. You know, and, and once you do get some trigger time with Glocks, poor you know, LCP. <laughs> or LCP. Poor LCP. You know, <laughs> Why, Ruger? Once you get some time with, with the Glock sights, you know, you'll be fine with them. So yeah. if that's the main issue, either practice with it or swap out the sights and right. get some get some Trigicon 9 sights or something yeah. like that. Um, it's a little bigger than, um, you know, the 238 or the LCP, but a lot of that is in, is in length, and that's going to be concealed you know, inside the waistband or, or wherever. Um, but that also makes it more shootable. So it's it's something you can put in the hands of a newer shooter too, and you know, you you're not gonna worry about them feeling too much recoil. Um, they're gonna have a decent sight radius. They're gonna they're not gonna struggle with this gun as much as, as they would some of the really micro three eighties. Yeah. So I definitely liked it a lot for that. Like you've put this in the hand of more new shooters. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I have and and for somebody who carries a forty five with them every single day, you probably wouldn't expect this, but I actually love the three eighty round. Right. Round. I, I love the caliber. I love the platform. Mm -hmm. Now that being said, I think there's only three really good 380s out there. I think the CZ83, which isn't made anymore, and was actually a pretty big gun, but it did run really well and was very comfortable. And 
Yeah, it, it was big. It was a lot big. Bigger than what yeah, we're the Sig two thirty eight is Am I absolutely. Am I going to be able to find a picture of that for the post? Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I have one. That's I have a one. thing. Uh, the Sig, <laughs> Sig two thirty eight is is a brilliant gun, yeah. but it's really for a more advanced shooter because you have that safety there. This is this is a gun that I think anybody can take out of the box and, and run it. Yeah. Um, I've had really, really good luck with mine, and I've had two of them, and I've run them in cold and, and hot and weather. And we actually today did, which will show up on a different video, but a pretty wonky experiment where we were firing from underneath a shirt, where we're actually holding the gun from the outside and firing it. It ran three rounds inside of a shirt, perfect and fine and accurate. I mean, it was to me, it was kind of ridiculous how well that worked. Yeah. Um, I adore this gun. <laughs> I think this is an absolutely fantastic gun. And it, the hardest part of Glock is keeping them all straight because a 42 is a 380, unlike a 17, which is a 9, uh, and unlike the 40, which is a 10. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so that, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. So now they're going to come out with a 43, which is kind of funny because I like this gun so much. The Glock, Glock, all the Glocks together are like the Jackson family. This gun to me was Michael. And now the 43 is going to come out and be a better Michael. Maybe. And overshadow uh, them all. Remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. We, we're and more than skeptical. Yeah, I think a lot of people are looking at this 43 coming out and going, yeah, finally a 9, a single stack 9. Well, it's very possible that if they don't beef this platform up and add some add some add a decent amount of size and beef to this, that the 9 is going to be too snarky of a round. This, to me, is a gun that matches the caliber almost perfectly. <laughs> and so because of that, I think it is comfortable to shoot and accurate. And what I do like about it, and again, my number one criteria of any gun I'm going to carry is that I can draw it. And that's, you know, we, we mentioned the poor lamented LCP, which is I think lament is what the L stands for in the LCP. Um, and when you look at the kel and some of those guns, they're hard to draw, they're hard to shoot, and their primary good characteristic is they sink really fast when you throw them in a river. Um, <laughs> Whereas this gun, I think this gun runs fast, runs well, and I'm just, I am super, super impressed with this very plain Jane, very nondescript gun, runs like a true champion. Yeah, right So, absolute crazy thumbs up for yeah. me. Yep, thumbs up for me. I think this is a gun we're still going to be recommending to the newer shooters, yep. and the 43 mm -hmm. is probably going to be the one we're recommending to the intermediate and advanced yeah, ones. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, I, and I will say that it, it does, it fills, a, it fills a niche, and it is the smallest gun I would ever own. I mean, I can see myself actually buying this, um, where there's the, you know, the other ones that we've talked about, I, I would So, I will... The uh, smallest gun you'd ever own? Oh, what? Oh, what you mean smallest semi-auto? Yes, smallest. We got that on tape. <laughs> <Semi -auto. laughs> smallest semi-auto you'd ever own. That makes that's fair. <laughs> Will your foot fit in your mouth? <laughs> what, um, the, the small vert is actually um, not a gun. Do you even have a small vert on right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I don't. I don't. Gear check. Gear check. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pass this. <laughs> Oh, like you said, we there. have we have a case full of really really small guns. People come in all the time. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? I tell them that this is the only gun in that case that I would spend my own money on. Um, it's it's a compromise all the way, but it, to me it's the le lesser of two evils when I when I carry this. And uh, I'm even I'm even you know a pretty big 1911 guy, and I choose this over the 238. Uh, I think it's just well executed in this size. It's well paired to the caliber, like Mike said, and it's it's just a, a really really nice small package, and it's 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 another no-brainer choice if if you're looking for something in the really subcompact handguns for concealed carry.